Hello, hello, hello! Welcome back to the new campaign of Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Yes, the game just got a 1.06 beta patch, which basically upgraded the campaign that, that we could see so far. And now, when the war is finished the campaign will just continue so we will have a chance to go through entire period that the game covers uh, we can begin the campaign in 1890 and continue until i think it was 1950 so that's a long campaign isn't it by the way hello chat hello csx sub fun Hello Arex, uh, hello Hainam, <laughs> welcome, welcome. <laughs> As you can see today, it's it's a slight change of pace. Yes, we, we are no, well, we won't be driving any trains today, That that's for sure. <laughs> today I decided to, to come back to, to that very first game that was featured on my channel and and hopefully that will be a good choice. Right, anyway, without any further ado, chat, let's let's jump into the game and let's have a look at this campaign. Let's let's build our fleet and 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 win the wars, isn't it? Yeah, that that's why you build warships to, to win the wars at sea. There we go. That's much better. Now we can see more or less entire screen. Uh, perhaps I could increase the volume of the music. Should I? Yeah, perhaps that would be a good idea. There we go. That's much better. Right. So the new campaign. Let's let's begin and let's see what the game has to offer in that brand new 1.06 beta patch. Right, so uh, first of all we need to choose the nation and uh, there are not too many choices uh, right now. We can go with Austro-Hungarian Empire, British Empire, French Empire, German Empire and Italian Empire. And, and I think, yeah, that's it. Uh, that's totally it. So, chat. Which nation should we choose for, for our little campaign? Any ideas? Still nothing? <laughs> right, as always, as always. Right, uh, let me choose then. Um, hmm. I'm really tempted to go with French or Italian. That might be an interesting idea. Hmm. Should we play as a French or Italian? You know what? Let's let's play Italian. Right, we will begin in 1890. 
Japon. Uh, difficulty, difficulty. Let's let's go with hard. Yeah, that's not going to be too easy, and it shouldn't be too hard. There is also legendary, but <laughs> yeah, the, the game gives a little bit too much advantages to AI, and and I haven't played this game for wow over a year now. <laughs> So yeah, uh, let's let's cut it down to hard. AI opponent. Uh, let's go with random so that each nation will uh, will receive admiral that has different way of uh, managing his fleet. Uh, so some of them will prefer like uh, hit and run tactics, uh, some of them will be very daring and they will push uh, their fleet towards you, uh, some of them will try to keep like a stable distance, uh, so that's, that will create some, some interesting battles I believe. And now our fleet, uh, should it be auto generated or perhaps should we create our own? Chat. Any ideas? Any choices? Failjet! Hello, hello! Welcome to the stream. I hope you will have a great time today. Okay, I'm still getting nothing from the chat. Okay, I, I guess I will have to choose myself. <laughs> uh, so let's... Yeah, we will create our own fleet. Random. Oh, so... Auto-generated then. Hmm. Yeah, that might be an idea. I, I don't know what AI will generate for me. That might be absolute rubbish. <laughs> Yeah, my fleet might be absolute rubbish uh, with that. Okay, let's let's go for it, and eventually we will design something better. If AI will be able to completely destroy my fleet. Okay, so let's do this. Luigi Rota, hello, welcome to the stream. I hope you'll have a great time today. Okay, it is taking some time to load the game. Oh wow, that, that might take a while. Okay, uh, for some reason. <laughs> who knows, who knows, maybe there will be less notifications today. There we go, the game has loaded. And here we are. Uh, so, Italy. What do we have here? Oh my goodness me. Oh my goodness me. So, we got Austro-Hungary. Uh, they, they don't really have the, too many ports. Uh, uh, we got some British ports. And French ports. Yeah, Spain is not yet in the game. Although, they do have some ports already. I see, I see. So, basically, how it works. As you can see, my fleet is assigned to different ports. Uh, I can obviously move the ships around. But each port has its own like uh, area of influence or basically patrol area. And if your ships are, let's say, patrolling Western Mediterranean Sea, 
and there are also French ships and British ships patrolling that, you will build tensions between those nations. So when the tensions will rise, that might spark a war. And basically, that's how they resolve this. So, so, we need to, hmm, let's first look at, at our fleet, uh, so what do we have? We got two designs of a torpedo boats, a light cruiser, heavy cruiser, and a battleship, okay, okay, okay. So, uh, let me see them. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. It's it's pretty, pretty interesting design. 11,280 tons displacement. It is very slow. Oh, that is very sluggish. Oh my goodness me, 17.6 knots. Uh, that's definitely not the fastest ship. It has, wow, it, it has quite a lot of secondary guns. And they are pretty much pushed everywhere they can they can be pushed. <laughs> like someone was very obsessive when it comes to firepower, and hopefully uh, that will pay off. Okay, it has drought uh, reduced by eleven percent. Okay, okay, that's not too bad to be honest. It's it's pretty nicely designed ship. Let's check the refit. Uh, that will give me extra options. Okay. Okay, so for secondary guns, we got only HE shells. Uh, I, I'm not fan of that solution. Uh, perhaps we should change the ratio. Uh, the problem with that is that this ship will now become a refit. So in order to introduce uh, whatever changes I will make right now uh, to my actual ships that were already built, I will have to refit them. And I think that takes a few months to do. Right, uh, so I, I guess we will have to stick with that for now. Uh, do we have torpedo tubes? Yes, we do. Okay. Okay, so that's, that's not too bad. The battleship is pretty, pretty good. Okay, uh, let's look at other. Uh, Castor. Oh my goodness me, that is a gunboat, pretty much. We got one torpedo tube, but look at the amount of guns they put. Oh my goodness me. Too far from previous place. I, I'm not sure that's, that's like a weird design. Okay. Aeron, oh my goodness me. Hmm. Hmm. That is really bad. <laughs> Chat, I I have to say that my torpedo boats are absolutely terrible. And I'm very, very unhappy with, with their design. Uh, yeah, we will probably have to design some some new uh, because yeah, I, I, I hate this design honestly. Uh, right, let's have a look at light cruiser. Okay, light cruiser isn't that bad, although hmm, AI went with some. Oh my goodness me, that's a lot of guns. Okay, and heavy cruiser, uh, yeah, 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 heavy cruiser, pretty much smaller version of a battleship to be honest, nothing special, 22 knots, okay, and a light cruiser, 21.3 knots, so apparently my light cruiser is slower than a heavy cruiser. Uh, that's that's not entirely correct. Uh, how fast am I? Oh my goodness me. 
So basically my torpedo boats are very fast. They can do over 31, well, nearly 32 knots. But the rest of the fleet, oh my goodness me, they, they are absolutely terrible. Right, battleship will be very slow because those are early designs. So um, the hull is not even designed to, to, to like support such a high speed. Uh, so yeah, there's not much we can do about that. Uh, we could redesign it a little bit, but the more speed you give him, uh, the less guns and less armament you can put on top of that ship. Uh, because obviously that, that space and that displacement will be used to put extra boilers and, and engines. And obviously, yeah, that, that won't really work, isn't it? Right, we'll, we'll try to win some wars with this. Uh, obviously, later on, I will design my own ships. Uh, but for now, we will have to deal with what we got. And, and that's, that's not the best design, to be honest. Especially those torpedo boats. Uh, some of those guns, yeah, they, they actually have too many guns and, and too little torpedoes. Uh, it is what it is, chat, isn't it? Right, uh, let's go to finances. And the first thing I want to do is to increase my transport capacity because that will eventually impact my future incomes. So the more I will invest into transport capacity now, the more I will the more money I will be making each month later on when we build more transport ships. Uh, so that is basically a future investment. Uh, shipyard size. We currently can build ships up to 12,000 tons. And obviously I want to change that. So we will begin construction of a new shipyard. And technology budget. Definitely I want to invest a lot of money into technologies. Crew training. I think we will be alright with just a slight increase. I, I don't really need that many crew members for now. Uh, let's push it all the way to okay, around 50%. That's That should be good, yeah. So we are training 112 new crew, uh, crew members each month, and we currently have 1800 in reserve. So providing that we have a peacetime and, and the next war may happen probably in about 12 months of in-game time. That gives me a little bit of time to build my crew pool. Eventually later when the war starts I can adjust this slider. So that's, that's not too bad. Let's go to research. And there are a few things that I definitely want to invest. So I got uh, normal research that will progress each month uh, by a tiny bit. So each technology or each group of technology is being developed at all times based on, on the budget we set. But we also can assign priorities uh, that will have like a bigger boost to, uh, to development. So, what I want to focus is uh, definitely hull strengthening, because I want those new hulls. I want... Hmm. Right, do I want hull protection or internals protection? Definitely internals protection. Uh, so that will be development of different damage control systems and measures for my crew to save the ship when worse comes to worse and, and we get hit, we get some floodings. Uh, yeah, definitely I want my crew to be able to keep the ship afloat. Uh, so that will be first two investments. Now the third one. I don't think I want to invest in new guns just yet, because uh, it makes no sense. And we could go with rangefinders or control station. Hmm. 
but we could also go with new engines and boilers. Hmm. Reduces engine weight. Oh, and that will reduce boiler weight. Hmm. That might be a good technology. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I see. So assigning extra priorities will also slow down other technologies. Uh. Okay. Let's let's go with engines. I definitely want to focus on on those three subjects for for some time. Get those new bigger holes and get some better engines that will be lighter and more efficient. And I want my crew to be able to restore or basically save the ship from flooding and fire. So that will be three focuses. I I will put onto onto my fleet and later on that will eventually help me win battles even with slightly worse ships perhaps okay so I guess that's it uh, politics doesn't really give me much information apart from the fact that Italian Empire is generally in good terms with all four of other nations which is good uh, I can also manage my fleet and move them around. Okay, I got... Oh, I got some ships in building. I see, I see. I see. Okay, okay. For now, I believe this is... Okay. We'll see when the first battles will happen eventually uh, if if we can change something to this but for now I think we are good and ready to begin the next turn so let's move to February okay so tensions have increased between British Empire and German Empire However, there were no changes in tensions between me and other nations. Hmm. That's very interesting. That is very interesting. Uh, let's see, let's see. Politics, yeah. Nothing has changed in my relationship with, with other nations. So that's good. That's really good. Okay, so let's advance to the next turn. Okay, looks like we're gonna have some wars between United Kingdom and Germany. They, they will probably soon raise tensions over North Sea. So that's gonna be interesting war to see. Okay. I wonder if if my tensions will start to increase. Hmm. Perhaps if I would set my entire fleet to sea control, I might start to anger, let's say, France or yeah, probably France would be the first nation to uh, uh, to go bad terms with. Okay, okay. So, let me change everyone to see control. And let's see if projecting that extra extra uh, strength to Mediterranean Sea will pay off. Okay, we are still doing Western. Yeah. The problem is that I can't select multiple ships and, and tell them, yeah, let, let's go all to sea control or let's say 
uh, organize my ships into groups and, and order entire group at once uh, rather than go with each ship individually uh, because yeah having let's say 300 ships later on uh, that that will be a little bit of a problem okay see control let's see honestly I didn't expect that playing as Italian will be well so difficult to, to actually get into war with someone and because apart from projecting your sea power into into area that that your ports cover or your patrol area there's not much you can do with that okay let's see how that impacts my finances oh we are losing money chats we are losing money Okay, so how am I supposed to deal with that? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, le let's do that for one turn. Okay. So tensions have risen between French Empire and Austro-Hungarian Empire, uh, but really nobody else. Yeah, pretty much nobody else is is losing uh, 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 good terms with me. That might be a problem, chat. That might be a problem. You see, I, pretty much every single other nation likes me for some reason. And I, I need to change that. Otherwise, I won't be able to get my na uh, nation into war and eventually gain something. Although, financially, we are doing really good. Let's see. Okay, yeah, my finances are slowly improving uh, because transport capacity is growing. Uh, by by two percent each year. That's that's really nice. Uh, okay, okay. Right. Let me just send some of them to port. Uh, perhaps everything on East Mediterranean can be set to in being. Yeah. That will reduce the spendings. On the fleet because obviously keeping my ships at sea will be more expensive so let me just yeah that's Eastern perfect okay let's see if that works me there's so much clicking okay so that is eastern and that is gonna be western okay so that is the last one so let's set into in being and let's fix all of them Perfect. Let's check our finances. Okay, it has improved a little bit. Not too much though. Okay, let's check one more month. My goodness, be the turns take some time, isn't it? Okay, so tensions have risen again at North Sea uh, between British Empire and German Empire and French Empire and German Empire. That's that's not looking good for, for Germans. Getting involved in two wars 
at the same time might not be a good idea for them. Uh, and Western Mediterranean, yeah, French versus Austro-Hungarian Empire, okay. Hmm. Okay, okay. We got one of the uh, one of the random events. This one is quite positive. So let's see. Hmm. We can reduce unrest with those money and gain one naval prestige. We can improve GDP by 1%, which might not sound like much, uh, but eventually that will improve my income over a long period of time. It will reduce the unrest, which is also added benefit to that. But my naval prestige will go down. Or we can just gain 20 millions. Hmm. And also gain two unrest and, and not give anything to the people. I think better income over a long period of time will be better than 20 million. Yeah, let, let's improve our GDP. There we go, and that should impact my finances. Yeah, there we go. We are losing a little bit less money. Which is good. The problem is, I would prefer to have an event that will worsen my relationship with, let's say, France. Because I really want their ports. Yeah. Like... Capturing Corsica would be a nice idea. And perhaps gaining full control over Western Mediterranean. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's an idea. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So we technically have almost, well, pretty much the biggest power projection to, to Western Mediterranean. French are not doing so great. Hmm. But I think, yeah, they are projecting some power to the North Sea. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Politics. Yet. Yeah, it would be nice to to like be able to send diplomats to other countries and, and, and like either improve relationships with them or let's say uh, set up some provocations and, and like push them towards war with you. So right now, yeah, like as an Italian empire, there's not much I can do. I will have to wait for. Germany or Austro-Hungary to go into war and that will change relationships between everyone so that will stir things up and perhaps worsen my relationships with France and United Kingdom and start creating some tension right so let's focus on improving my monthly balance uh, Hmm. How do I want to do that? That's the question. Uh, let's get my fleet to in being. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, changing the role of your ships will also impact how much you pay for, for the upkeep of them. Uh, so, obviously. The more of my ships that are doing only light patrols, the less money I have to pay for, for their upkeep. Uh, that's why I'm 
gonna send them all to ports for now. Because there is no reason for me to lose money in a peacetime. It's, it's better to save some money and, and later on be able to push things harder if I have to. My goodness me, there's so much clicking. Uh, let's see if that will work. Oh, okay. So, so you can actually edit multiple ships. Okay. What? Why are you not? Oh, okay. Perfect. Oh, I, I still missed you. I'm a genius, chat. I'm a genius. I, I missed some ships. Okay. Now my finances, yeah, they are still not the best because I got large fleet. But it will improve, it will improve. Okay, and we got new technology in gun layouts. Uh, so 7 inch casemate guns. Why would I need 7 inch casemates? Oh my goodness me, those are like, ah. Uh, Oh my goodness me. Kind of useless technology at the moment uh, because yeah, seven inch guns will be super heavy. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Let's have a look. Yeah. Let's check the politics. Yeah. War between British and German Empire is getting closer and hopefully that will impact my relationship with British and French Empire. Uh, let's check my finances. Uh, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Right, GDP is not increasing as fast as I would like it to. Hmm. What should I do? I mean, yes, some of them used, but... Uh, those were later designs, it's, it's not 1890. Okay. Ooh. Okay, I, I can survive only one more month. Huh. We are currently building a battleship. But I'm not really fancy to have such a large fleet. Let's see. Uh, can I? Yeah, I will scrap that. I don't need that many battleships. I got seven at the moment. Oh wow, we got so many heavy cruisers. Okay, okay. Uh, let's check finances. Yeah, we are still losing money. Huh, what can we do? Perhaps we can scrap a couple of ships. Uh, shall we? Yeah. Those designs were not that good anyway. Uh, so let's get rid of one of more. Maybe from Eastern Mediterranean. There we go. Yeah. Okay, okay. We got some extra funds. We can survive for like four months probably. And by then, 
hopefully my GDP will catch up and we will start gaining money rather than losing them. Uh, let's check the research. So in 14 months, we will have triple expansion steam engines. Definitely that will be a good idea to put them on my ships. And we will have new structural steel. Along with a new hull. That's nice. Okay. I'm not sure what that's gonna be. Uh, as long as this is some sort of new pumps that will allow me to, to pump out the water or, or, or do some stuff in terms of floodings, I think that will be a good idea. Uh, because since this is 1890, that is the most dangerous thing that can happen to my ship. Any flooding will pretty much mean that my ships are dead. If I can't get rid of that water, obviously. Right. Next month. Okay, new technologies. Let's see. Minesweeper Cruiser. Uh, not really useful, uh, because right now we can't really modify our tactics and, and do any any stuff with mines uh, because they are not in the game yet uh, so a shame a shame shame uh, unfortunately those technologies are on the list in tech tree so you have to discover them even though you can't use that technology yet right internal protection eight months Emergency wooden plaques, and that will increase or improve my ship repairs by 5% in terms of flooding. Okay, that, that's one of the technologies we want, uh, but I want more. I want some advanced pumps or, or, or stuff like that. Hey, but at least we have wooden plaques, isn't it? Or we will have wooden plaques. Uh, right, quick inspection to finances. Uh, that doesn't look too bad. We are still losing money. Even though we are at 114% of our GDP. Hmm. Or transport capacity. Okay. Still no war. Uh, let's see. Uh, politics. Yeah. Everyone still likes me. Which is a problem. But Germany and and United Kingdom. Yeah, they, they, they start to hate each other. <laughs> so very soon, very soon, chat, we will see some wars. Although, I really won't have any fights with anyone. Unless I will somehow manage to piss off France. And that's not gonna be easy because everyone literally retreated from Western Mediterranean. And obviously, you can't find any British or French ships on Eastern Mediterranean. It would be nice to have access to North Atlantic. That would help. Hmm. Yeah. But I don't really have any ports that would spark any war. Uh... Oh well, for now I will have to survive until something will happen. Uh, Toby, I don't have any commands on my Twitch, so those won't work, I'm afraid.
but the stream was up for 54 minutes, if, if you want to know that. Okay, so uh, let's have a look. Finances. We are still losing money and we don't have enough to cover next month. <laughs> okay, chat, chat. I will. There we go. Oh, I will reduce the budget for crew training. Which probably will be a good thing to do. And I need to build my GDP so that it will start making money. Okay, I, I... Well, technically I still have enough crew members. So that should be good. Okay, I'm still building the shipyard. Two months until new coal. 11 months until new engines and then we can start to refit some of my ships. Yeah, that might be quite useful to, to gain some extra funds, uh, although for now, I don't want to reduce my fleet's capacity uh, because I will have to redesign every single ship anyway. And then when I start building new ships, I will start scrapping the old ones. Uh, so I want to be able to get into fight at all times uh, rather than remove my entire fleet out of existence and build it from the scratch. Because by the time I will build a, a new fleet, it will also be obsolete <laughs> because I'm constantly developing new technologies, I'm constantly going forward, uh, but building a single battleship it takes 15 months, for example, so that's one and a half years. Uh, yeah, that, that won't work to, to just scrap them immediately. Uh, so for now, yeah. I will have very low income. I, I don't really need to buy anything in bulk right now, so having large na uh, naval funds is basically only helping me to, let's say, overspend for a short period of time, which I just did. Uh, but yeah, my fleet will be changed, will be changed. Uh, might be, yeah, TBs technically. Uh, I could scrap some of them, yeah. Uh, what I would like to do is to wait for... Oh, that's gonna be mine layer destroyer. Oh, that's not gonna help me. I think it's six months per destroyer. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Uh, we will do that. That's a good idea. So, uh, let's go to my torpedo boats. And perhaps... Yeah, let's, let's get rid of about half of them. Oh, I, I can't scrap multiple ships at once. Yeah, that should do. Let's check the finances. Uh, okay, okay. Now we have 1 million. We are making 124,000 a month. Okay, that's that's a solid income. And our fleet strengths have fallen a little bit. Hmm. Oh, you are fighting a huge German fleet with like 15 TBs. That's that's interesting strategy. Uh, the problem is I, I can't really spark any wars right now because I play as in Italy, which probably was a mistake. <clears throat> and pretty much everyone likes me. And I need to either get a random event uh, that will worsen my uh, relationships 
with France or United Kingdom, or I need to wait for some wars between AI to happen and that will eventually drag me into war and worsen my relationships with any of the nation. Until then, I, I'm just gathering money and building my fleet up, uh, which, which is funny. And looking at my fleet, my fleet is actually the smallest one. Oh, that, that's interesting. That's very interesting. I, I got smallest fleet and I can't really go on top on, on, on monthly balance. I, I wonder how AI is doing that. Right, let's advance to December. Okay, so we got new crew for our battleships. That's that's good. That's good. Uh, let's see. Do we want to switch our research? Nah. That's that's an interesting concept, Ares. Uh, yeah, definitely putting yourself against some. Well. Inconvenience uh, is 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 adding to that challenge, uh, but yeah, I think the game does a pretty good job uh, with difficulty settings, especially that yeah, as, as you can see, like no matter what I would do with my finances, I still need to keep uh, high funding to transport capacity in order to build my GDP, improve my monthly balance, uh, so that I can keep or fund technology a little bit more. Uh, obviously crew training is the least important at the moment, although when I start to build ships, I will need a lot of crew members. So again, yeah, uh, that that's another part, like designing those ships, uh, especially if you are trying to go for realistic designs. Oh my goodness me. Like trying to figure out how this works and how to put everything what they put in real life onto the same hole in the game is sometimes a massive challenge. Uh, if anyone is interested, uh, I, I used to do videos like that uh, in the past, that was like two years ago, and they should still be on my channel. Uh, that was the playlist called Lots of Guns. And I did a couple of like uh, historical designs. Uh, I think I... I did food. Uh, can't remember other designs. Uh, I did some American ships. Uh, can't remember if I did anything from France. Uh, honestly, like French designs uh, never really clicked for me. So, no, I, I think I, I've never done any French designs. Uh, I did some Russian ships. So, yeah, uh, eventually. Like, trying to put everything together in this game, even if you have all the tools and all the materials, that's not easy. <laughs> I still had to search for some compromises to fit everything in place. Uh, so yeah, uh, definitely a nice challenge uh, to, to play only with realistic designs. Okay, ooh, new technology in explosives. We now have access to gun cotton. Perfect, perfect. We got, well, increased chance of fire, increased chance of flash fire. Oh my goodness me. Uh, it's probably still lower than, than with current stuff, isn't it? Yeah, chat, I, I think. What is that? January 1891 will be a perfect time to design a new ship. So, uh, we got new hull for battleship. So let's see, battleship 3. Ooh, that's a nice hull. It's, well, it's basically 
larger version of our armored cruiser. So let's see, let's see. Mm, I can't really push the speed too much. Uh, I still don't have triple expansion steam engine. Or should I wait with the new design? Yeah, let's wait. Uh, perhaps I could do torpedo boat, uh, which, yeah, that will actually be useful. So, front tower one, uh, do I want to push it that, no, I want it to be at the front. It's gonna be quite boring design. Funnel, uh, hmm. let's go with standard funnel, single one should do. That boat has to be fast, but it doesn't have to speed up really fast. So the top speed will be high, but nothing else. <laughs> yeah, like... Uh, like, early designs were so bad, uh, but eventually they had to learn somehow, so... For each bad design, they are now changing that to to be better. But yeah, back back in the days, oh my goodness me, the ships were so badly designed. Right, main guns. Uh, I just need two inch guns. One at the front, one at the back. Uh, that should do. Uh, we will make some changes to them. Uh, definitely, I want longer barrels uh, and I believe it's diameter that impacts the accuracy although accuracy is absolute rubbish anyway since that ship needs to get very close to the target anyway because torpedoes doesn't really have range I might do that now we got two torpedo tubes. Okay. I want increased ammunition for the torpedoes. Uh, perhaps standard ratio for the ammunition. Heavy shells. Yes, definitely. Standard AP. Base fuse. And now... Hmm. Let's use gun cotton. And we can still use brown powder as a propellant. Okay. 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 That should do. And uh, the pitch is absolutely terrible for that ship. Roll is pretty good. Engine efficiency 35%. Oh my goodness me. So you can imagine that this ship won't be super fast. Yeah, even with the top speed of, uh, let's say, let's push it a little bit higher to 30 knots, yeah, 30.4 knots. Uh, we can give it spacious quarters, bulkheads maximum, yeah, that will definitely help. Uh, what else do I want to change? Perhaps if I would change the draw. Okay, okay. Okay. Let's see, let's make it slim. Okay, okay, okay. We got massive weight offsets. So, what I can try and do... Is to move my... Torpedo tubes to different places. Yeah, I, I can't... Look, I can't really do anything with the funnel. It will get in my way. That might be a problem. Hmm.
Yeah, I, I, I've seen his channel. Hmm, in front of a main tower. I, I can't really fit that anywhere here. Uh, I was basically uh, hoping to... Wait, if I would... Do... Hmm. Well, that still doesn't help with the pitch. And we still got massive weight offsets. Yeah. Hmm. That doesn't really help. Uh, let me think. So we either take massive four weight offset or switch it instantly to aft weight offset, which is really, really dumb. Okay, let's 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 make it heavy to the back. Uh, that that will do. I don't know how this ship is gonna work, but it has no choice, isn't it? It's gonna be a ship that is sent on suicide missions anyway. Because all it has to do is to rush the enemy, uh, preferably in large numbers, fire the torpedoes, and retreat. If it survives, that's added bonus. If it doesn't, well... <laughs> too bad, let's build another one. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I think that's that's how my torpedo boats will work. Okay, uh, Centauro, yeah, okay. Alright, so, we got another design. And now, I can build... Uh, no, uh, I, knew, I, I, I don't want Castor. I want... Centaur. Uh, can I delete that? Oh, I see. And and, and those... Oh. Chat, look at this. Like, those initial designs. I can't even get rid of them. Oh dear, oh dear. That's gonna create a mess in, in on that list. I can tell you that. Right, so Centauro. Uh, how many of these we want to build? Uh, perhaps let's let's do six. Okay, so these are building. Well, let's check the research. Three months until internals protection, and eight months until engines. Okay. And we are also researching a new technology that is not yet known in hull strengthening. Okay. Oh, I see, I see. So I, I will still have to replace all the torpedo boats before getting rid of the designs. Makes sense, makes sense to be honest. Okay, uh, so that's that. Finances, we are still making money. Not too much though. Uh, but that will change. Uh, let's have a look at this. Politics, yeah, we are still on good terms with everyone. So let's progress this campaign. Obviously, uh, UK and Germany are, are really getting closer to war. Uh, let's have a look at politics. 
Yeah, they are at 83%. Oh my goodness. Yeah, they're gonna have a war. Very, very soon. But surprisingly enough... Uh, it looks like Germany might actually win that war. <laughs> like... UK has 76 ships. While German Empire is really pushing it. And they managed to build 132 ships. Oh my goodness me. And they are still building three new ships, while Britain is building only ten. Hmm. Okay, that's that's going to be very very interesting. Okay, can I get one of those random events where I accidentally sink someone's ship and and then be? very dismissive about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. My technology is apparently average. I, I don't like it. I, I want my technology to be on a very high level. Okay, but in one month we will have emergency wooden plugs, which is a massive breakthrough in technology, I believe. There we go. Uh, let's see, politics. Ooh, 90%, okay. So I believe two, three months and we will see a war between Germany and UK. And hopefully, some of these numbers will go lower so that I will finally start to build tension with someone. That would be good. Okay. My naval prestige is at minus two. Okay. I don't really have any way to improve it. That's the problem. Engines, yeah. Not much is happening in this campaign, just yet. Okay, but I'm getting close to that triple expansion steam engine and that will definitely help me build better ships. Some new internal protection, I definitely want this technology to progress even faster. And perhaps something from armor would be very useful. Hmm, let's see. Okay, there's not much I can do at the at the moment. So let's just carry on. Okay. Hmm. Ooh, they are almost at war, chat. Next month, that's gonna be war. Yep, yeah, definitely. Next month we will see a war between UK and Germany.
Oh. Seriously. Oh my goodness me, what have they done? They, they literally decided, you know what, let's pay each other money and delay the war. And both nations went with that. Why? Why would Germany do that if, if they have such a massive advantage? Like, look at their fleet. They, they would pretty much instantly blockade uh, UK ports. Oh my goodness me, what have they done? Like, I think the biggest struggle to play as Italy is the fact that you can't get into war eh, because you can't really build tensions with anyone. Okay, but I'm starting to make real coin. That's, that's what I like. Okay, let's increase my budget for crew training. Uh, let's see, how's my fleet doing? I think we built everything, did we? Yeah. Right, so now I could... Oh, wait. This is, uh, this is, this is, oh, iron, uh, okay, I, I want to get rid of this one. This one is Centauro, 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 Centauro. And this one is iron, so. If I will just... There we go. Ship designs, and now I should be able to... Okay, there is still some iron. And there is still some castor. No, those are... Technically, I should be able to scrap this design. Or maybe I will be able to do that next month. We'll see, we'll see. Okay. There we go, chat. Finally, there is a war somewhere. Let's see, let's see. Okay. Italian Empire versus British Empire. We lost... Well... Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, some tensions have increased between me and British Empire. Uh, we got better relationship with German Empire. Uh, but that's it, pretty much. Oh my goodness me. Okay, and we got triple expansion steam engine. We got bigger torpedoes. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, let's see. Ship design. Now I can't delete any of them. And I don't have any Iron or Castor class torpedo boats. Ah, uh, that's that's a shame. Hmm.
I see, I see. There's not much I can do, chat. Uh, this is... Okay, okay. But now I can start building tensions with UK. Uh, so that might be a good idea in the long run. Because whenever I put any ships or whenever UK puts any ships in Mediterranean Sea, they will start building tensions with me. So that's good. That's good. Although they, they don't really keep any ships at Valletta, which might be a problem. I would honestly prefer if tensions between France and uh, Austro-Hungary uh, would rose, uh, because most likely I would then lose some uh, some relationships with France when the war erupts and and that would help me build tensions between me and France and then win those ports. Well, obviously, I, I would probably prefer to win uh, some of those ports to be able to build tensions with UK and Germany. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how that war goes for each side. I wonder how long it will last. Right, so finances, we are making money, we are researching new technologies, and we are pretty much ready to design a new ship. Although the problem is, why can't I... Hmm. Maybe... really I can copy the design but I can't delete it from here and I can't really scrap the design uh, maybe there is some time limit that I need to wait through before scrapping the design because, yeah, I, I literally don't have any ships in service from uh, Castor and Iron class. Is it? Yeah, I, I should have none. Uh, yeah, that is Centauro, Centauro, Centauro. Yeah, it's... It's only Centauro class that I have. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Right, anyway, let's design a new battleship. So, I want battleship 3 hull. And I want triple expansion steam engine. Let's see how... Okay, 200 ton lighter. Uh, so perhaps I could... push the speed to... 21 knots, uh, yeah, 21, uh, 21, 21, yeah, ah, it's probably easier to write it, yeah, there we go, uh, maximum bulkheads, uh, spacious quarters, why not, let's, let's give our crew some comfort, oh, and this one has a cage mast, Okay, I, I can do medium. Okay. Hmm, let's see. Okay, let's push that towards the middle. Perfect. Uh, medium funnel, that won't work. Small will work. But I can stick only one of them. So, yeah, that puts engine efficiency at 29%. Oh my goodness me. I can't really do anything about the boilers right now. Uh, fuel can stay as a coal. I can change my armor to compound. 
which apparently should be heavier. Yes, it is. Okay, I can only have single hull bottom and standard bulkheads. Citadel 1, definitely. I want some protection on that thing. Okay, okay. Uh, do I want any barbettes? Nah. We won't have that many guns. Right, and do I want 11 inch guns on this thing? Uh, let's see. I mean, 12 inch guns seems like very tempting. Uh, but they are also very heavy. Uh, so maybe going lower, 10 inch. Hmm. 10 inch guns seem like a good idea I believe let's see uh, penetration is absolutely hideous oh my goodness 17 16 inch I mean I could still punch through the armor at 5,000 meters uh, so I need to get close to, to my target in order to do anything with, with that design. And, but on the other hand, uh, yeah, that, that should do. For, for now, smaller guns will, will do the job. Uh, looks weird, isn't it? Right, I, I'm gonna change the diameter and length. I want those long barrels. There we go. Yeah. Beautiful. So how does that change my guns? Okay, accuracy isn't that bad. And we have actually pretty good penetration right now. And when I increased... Um, well, basically the caliber. 10.9 inch. Hmm. Okay. Pretty much, yeah, 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 that, that can work. We can actually deal damage at, well, to, to ship that has similar armor, obviously, at a range of 10 kilometers. So that's that's pretty good. I, I, I think that's going to be good. Right, casemate guns. Uh, four inch. Uh, that That's one of my favorite guns, to be honest. Uh, they can deal reasonable damage to light cruisers and torpedo boats heavy cruisers uh, okay yeah th they might not be the best with them uh, but anything below yeah four inches should handle that pretty easily so let's put some of these bad boys here there we go Yeah, that should do. Pretty standard design, to be honest. Not not, not much special, or nothing special uh, about it, to be honest. Standard ratio, a barbet 1. Uh, let's see, let's see. Standard ratio for secondary guns. Jimmy Chain, hello, welcome to the stream. I hope you will have a great time today. And... Uh, someone else was mentioned. Mr. Slyfox, oh my goodness me, I, I completely forgot to respond to your comments. And, and that was ages ago, isn't it? Right, so, we got our first ship here. Okay, okay. Any suggestions, chat? We, we still have few tons that we can use for something good. Uh, to do armor. Okay, we don't really need to deal with plunging fire just yet because the guns. Yeah, the guns doesn't really have that much range to to cause plunging fire, so I, I'm not really worried about the deck armor just yet. It, it, it's gonna be important when we start fighting at the distances of like 15 to 20 kilometers. But right now, yeah, like. <laughs> You literally need to crash into enemy ship to be able to hit it. 
Uh, so I'm not really worried about that part. Uh, perhaps I could improve four belts. Oh, okay. And that's pretty much the only improvement I, I have space for. Okay. Uh, medium range. Uh, we don't really need to worry about that. Okay. Hmm. Can we make it slimmer? Yes, we can. Ooh, that's going to be very slim design. Or perhaps we should make it like a very wide. Hmm. Uh, but that will affect engine efficiency, isn't it? Uh, yeah, that, that has negative effect on that. Oh, okay. So perhaps if I would reduce beam by 5%, that makes it... A bit slimmer, not not too slim, not too wide. Okay, that's that's good. Uh, drought can be perhaps also reduced only by five percent. Yeah, 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 yeah. This way. Yeah, I know, but the problem is that uh, they will also reduce engine efficiency of, of that thing, and it <laughs> we don't really have engine efficiency on that thing to begin with. Uh, so, yeah, I, I need to go with some compromises right now. Uh, at least until the point we can get uh, better funnels and better boilers. Uh, without it, yeah, th there's not much I can do. Or I will have to sacrifice the speed and, and drop it below 21 knots, uh, which I don't know. Uh, should I make it wider then? Uh, perhaps, yeah, let's make it 5% wider then. Oh, can't build shipyard size. Uh, I forgot that shipyard size limit is also a thing. Uh, okay, so can build it that way and now the ship is overweight hmm. oh now I will have to cut the armor huh, that's interesting how do I do that I don't really want to reduce armor of conning tower and I just need to cut a few tons huh Okay, reducing up belt doesn't really give me that much weight, and I have 100 tons to lose. Oh, by the way, I almost forgot, I need heavy ammo here. Uh, so perhaps I will have to increase the beam by only... Okay, that that is interesting. How did I manage to break that? I, uh, so now when I reset beam and draw all the way to zero percent, all of oh okay, I I forgot. I I I had lighter ammunition, did I? There we go. Now it should work. And now technically I should be able to drop the drought and slightly increase the beam. Uh, perhaps I can yeah, let's let's drop the belt armor a little bit. 
percent extra beam. Okay, yeah, so sounds good. Sounds good. Okay, uh, Falcon. Uh, is that a good name for? Nah, Falcon doesn't seem uh, fitting for battleship. Uh, how should we name it? <laughs> oh my goodness me. I got no idea how to name that ship. Huh. Huh. Nah. That 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 wouldn't be a good name for that ship. Uh, like that that's not a good design. Yeah. Uh, I I wouldn't sign it with my name. <laughs> or maybe I don't know. What should we name it? Huh? Something. Right. Something interesting about Italy, I don't know. Hmm. That's that might actually work better. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, let's call it. Uh did I spell this right? Probably yeah. Sicily. Uh one. Yeah, okay. That should do. Spaghetti class battleship. Okay, yeah, it sounds sounds good. Okay, let's let's call it spaghetti. And and that will also create a class for that ship, so it's gonna so every subsequent battleship of this design will be called spaghetti class battleship. <laughs> okay, okay, I, I like this name, yeah, Spaghetti, Spaghetti, okay. Right, so let's build, uh, how many of these? Uh, oh, that's, that's, that's expensive to build. Uh, let's see, let's see, my finances are currently at 378, which means that if I will start building this bad boy, uh, that's gonna be expensive. Yeah, we can, we can actually go for that, like, uh, types of uh, spaghetti sauce, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Italian kitchen is actually pretty good, so, so, hopefully my ship will be same as good at, as Italian kitchen. <laughs> okay, so I designed the ship, but I can't build it, because if I will start building this thing... Uh, or perhaps I, I shall build one. And let's see how that impacts my finances. Yeah, I'm in negatives. Uh, but that shouldn't last for long, so I should be able to fork out enough money yeah okay that, that that will do and then i will start deleting old battleships if, uh, when i start to build up those those new ships okay and, and that should pretty much do uh i will switch my focus from engines to boilers because they will be finished in four months uh, destroyer design, I, I'm really not bothered by that. Uh, I'm still wondering what's going to be next internal protection equipment. Uh, but I need more of that. Mark 2! Two, 2 inch guns. Oh, I can actually redesign my torpedo boat. Because that's the only ship that actually uses that. Hmm. Oh, and, and I'm losing even more money. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. Let's see. 
<laughs> Ship design, Centauro. Let's view it and let's install Mark II guns on it. And let's see how that will change this this ship. So let's do that. They are now Mark II. Okay. And now what I need to do is to increase the length by 10%. Okay, and, and that should... That should do. Uh, that's going to be using gun cotton. Oh, I can also upgrade the torpedoes. I forgot about that. Uh, guess we got larger torpedoes. Hmm. Uh, let's. Yeah, let's keep the beam at at zero percent. Uh, what else I want to change about this thing? Perhaps I can do with enhanced uh, reloading for that Mark II guns. Okay. Uh, that's, that really haven't changed. We can... Now, standard armor shells. Uh, but do I want... Yeah, those are heavy shells. Standard ratio, so that just in case this thing can load uh, AP shells. Uh, we don't really have any extra fuses. Yeah, and, and this thing is completed. Okay. So, save design. Let's exit the constructor. And now we have... Refit. And I could... Okay, and I can now refit my my torpedo boats. It will take only a month uh, because basically all the changes I did was to switch Mark One uh, guns for Mark Two and change the torpedo tubes. Well, increase their caliber. So that's not not a high change. Uh, well, change and. and they will be ready in one month. And not too bad, not too bad, although that, that is decreasing my monthly balance. And I don't like it. Now, when it comes to politics, uh, I'm still on a good terms with France, which is not helping me build any tension with them. Hopefully that will change. Look up this North Sea. Mm -hmm. Okay, apparently UK is winning that. Uh, they, they have more victory points. Hmm, interesting. Okay, let's go to our next turn. Let's see how the war will... Okay, we got Mine Layer Destroyer. British Empire lost one transport ships in Sea Region North Sea. Okay. Okay. Not much change on, on the political area. Yeah. I'm actually... Yeah. My GDP is actually increasing really, really nicely. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> right. I have no clue how am I supposed to start a war with someone. Uh, it's it's kind of a annoying. But let's hope for that random event that will eventually change things.
Okay, let's get to the next turn. There's not much I can do. Hopefully, when that war will end, we will see some improvements. Perhaps uh, France will pick up some fight with uh, uh, Austro-Hungary. Uh, yeah, that, that probably will change things. Although, yeah, Austro-Hungary doesn't really have access to Eastern Mediterranean. Uh, to, to Western Mediterranean, is it? Yeah, I think out of those three ports, everything is controlling Eastern Mediterranean. Uh, so unless France will start putting ships in uh, Bizet and Tunis, uh, probably they, they won't start building tensions in that area. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. We'll see what's gonna happen. We'll see what's gonna happen. Okay, research is going pretty well. Still don't know what I'm gonna research in internals protection, but that research is actually progressing really well. Okay. So first two years of game have passed and Okay, we got lighter boilers. Uh, let's switch the focus. Hmm. Let's go with special machinery. And I can develop nickel and steel armor in 82 months. Oh my goodness me. I will have to put some focus onto that. Oh my goodness me, look at that victory points. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Well, German Empire still has more ships than Britain does, but their naval prestige is, is absolutely destroyed. Oh my goodness me, they must have lost some important battle. Okay, let's... Okay, we got rangefinder. That's definitely useful. There were some updates to relationships, but not really much happened. Yeah, the war is still going. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. German Empire lost some ships, although Great Britain doesn't seem to be losing their ships. So they are on a good way to win that. Oh, this is gonna be a problem. Huh. I was actually hoping that UK will lose and they will lose some ports and they will start putting some ships here at Valletta. Because currently they have none. And that would start building tensions between me and and UK. Hmm. I see, I see, I see. Hmm. Yeah, really not much I can do. Finances are in positive, which is good. Because now I can... Build another spaghetti class battleship. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What, what did I do? I pressed the wrong button, chat. Okay. Uh, 
I should build one more. There we go. And that will be ready in 14 months. There we go. Okay, that war between Germany and the UK is going pretty well for the UK. They, they lost two ships in the past two months, while at the same time Germany lost 23 ships since the start of this war. It was like, what, four months, probably? So yeah, definitely British designs uh, in, in the game are better at the moment. Okay, let's see, let's see. Okay, not much changed in my relationship with, with other nations. Uh, we finished building shipyard though. Okay, and I'm... Why am... Why am I on such a high negative balance? Probably, like... Uh, I need some random events, seriously, chat. Uh, like, if I would get a random event... Oh wait, uh, perhaps it will be easier to get a random event. For some reason, my, my GDP doesn't really grow that fast, and, and I'm not really... Happy about that. I, I need that monthly balance to just skyrocket. And that that would really help me now. Uh, anyway, I need some of my fleet. Uh, perhaps, yeah. Hmm. Let's put them in sea control. Eastern, Western, there we go. So we got four. Hmm. Uh, let's put battleship. Maybe two at sea control. There we go. Uh, how does that impact my finances? Yeah, they went a little bit worse. Although I can do another thing. Let's go to Eastern Mediterranean. And let's see if I can reduce the cost. By setting them all to limited. Yep. Okay, so setting ships to limited will reduce costs. And setting ships to... Sea control will increase the cost. Okay. That works. Okay, looks like Germany is still losing. I wonder for how long this war will, will go. Losing money. It, it would be really, really nice to uh, to be able to increase tension with with France, uh, but they don't seem to be interested. They are pro projecting a lot of their strength to North Atlantic. And, and since they don't really have any opposition uh, 
down there. It's, it's not helping me. Finances, yeah, my. Uh, it looks like I'm not gaining any any more money. Uh, that's that's gonna be a problem. Perhaps what I could do. Hmm. Okay, one battleship will be ready in four months, so I can destroy one of them. In fact, I can destroy two of them. Okay. Perfect. And soon some of the funds should be released anyway, because in four months I'm going to complete building of, of one of the battleships that I laid. Okay, perfect. That should give me enough money to, to survive. Uh, yeah, okay. Monthly balance is not changing, which is making me a bit worried. So our GDP should be increasing. And for some reason it isn't. I can do that. I don't really need to invest that much in transport capacity uh, because I already managed to rack up 164%. And that is constantly contributing to increase in my GDP. So that would be wasted money. Okay. So technology budget is the only budget that I keep at 100%. Crew training will go up when... Oh my goodness me. Ah. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. All of a sudden I had to sneeze. Uh, right, anyway. Uh, crew training will go up uh, if we really need it. For now we can slowly accumulate some extra crew. That will work, yeah. Internals protection will be developed in five months, and that's gonna be emergency welding repairs. And that's gonna improve ship repairs against flooding. Perfect. That is exactly what I look for. Quick look into finances, yeah. Uh, perhaps now. Good. Okay, let's build four more. That's going to be five. That will do. Another turn. Very good. Still no changes in my relationship with anyone nearby, which is a problem. Oh, okay. I, I completely forgot that Britain has this port. Oh, they, they have so many ports, literally. Okay, next turn. Okay, Mark II, 10 inch guns. So I can actually do some upgrades to my battleship, even before it's built. Uh, that, that's funny thing about it. 
Okay, but do I want to almost instantly refit my battleship with with new stuff if I'm not at war? Uh, I, I don't think that's that's a good idea. I'm just gonna lose finances on that. Right, next turn. There's not really much I can do. Still nothing I can do. Emergency welding repairs, perfect. And we can continue. Okay, enhanced turret cylinders. Cylinders uh, of better design and layout affect positively the turret traverse system. Okay. That's interesting. Uh, let's see. Gonna get something new in. Oh, okay. No new holes from improved structural steel. I see. Ooh. The war between. UK and Germany is picking up the tempo. But yeah, I got no progress whatsoever. I need France to do something, literally. They, they just need to place ships so that they... They build tension with, uh, with Austro-Hungary. That would really help. I see, I see. So, looks like Germany. Got his admiral replaced. Okay. Hmm. I see, I see, I see. I wonder if that's going to turn the tide of, of this war. Hmm. Okay, next month I will have Better holes. There we go. Okay, Austro-Hungary and France had some events, although it, it didn't really affect much. I mean, the relationships are, are pretty poor anyway, but... Yeah, I, I can't really get into worse times with anyone. And that is a problem! Oh my goodness me, playing as Italy might have not been the best idea in that terms. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear.
Right, what's my finances? Uh, they are in positives, that's good. Okay, we are getting somewhere. Lighter reciprocating system. Lighter engine compartments produce the same power output. Perfect. I don't see how Germany would be able to win that war. Yeah, they are taking a proper beating here. Let's quickly progress through some turns. Nation German Empire Revolution. Andres became uncontrollably high in the German Empire and the government has been overthrown. The people do not trust Wilhelm Buschel due to his low naval prestige. He is relieved from duty and expelled from the country. Wow, that's a harsh punishment. Uh, so basically the war should be coming to an end really soon. We might see German Empire losing some ports that's interesting that is gonna be very interesting yeah like naval prestige yes like victory points are showing the whole story basically uh, my finances are they in positive yes they are although my monthly balance is, is really low right now Oh, I, I forgot, I, I am building ships, do, do I? Yeah, I, I am technically building four more ships, okay. Uh, so, let's see at my battleships. Uh, I can... Scrap this one. Scrap this one. Scrap this one. And scrap this one. So I will have four more ships ready soon. And that is all my battleships. Okay, and now I can delete Centauro, but I can't delete Aeron. So if, if it's automatic design, I can't delete it at all. Flooding chance plus 133%. Oh my goodness me. What's the flooding chance of this? Plus 12%. Okay, flash fire chance 115.3%. This is bad. This is bad, chat. If if somebody will hit my battleship, uh, which probably won't happen anytime soon, because why would I get into war with someone or how? Because like this is almost impossible for me at the moment. I need to get one of the events that will. Oh, there we go. We can build bigger heavy cruisers. Okay, but the war is not finished for some reason. They, they are constantly at war right now. Oh, that's interesting. I wonder if that's the thing of, of this. There we go. Yeah, they, they constantly keep fighting. Uh, Jimmy Chain, no, the game is fully offline. Uh, you can buy it on Steam for like, I can't remember, $30, $50, $30. Can't, can't remember what's the price, to be honest. 
and the game is in early access so it's not yet finished and, and that will still be changed uh, so this campaign will will see more nations first of all bigger map uh, because one well two of the nations are not even on the map currently uh, so the map will include entire world and all the seas and oceans that you can cover and perhaps they're gonna change a little bit how to do politics because right now playing as Italy makes no sense at least in 1890 because everyone likes you so you can't really do anything okay let's progress to another turn Yeah, tensions are not raising. Hmm. Okay, my monthly balance came back to normal levels. All right. Literally nothing is happening during this campaign. But that's that's how you play the beginnings in this game. Sometimes you just keep on clicking and waiting for something to happen. Okay, at least my GDP is, is going up. Oh. Crew pool 1, 352 new crew is being trained for German Empire. Uh, oh my goodness me, they are in real trouble. Oh, they're gonna end this war in really bad shape. Although they still have ships, that, that's funny thing about, uh, about AI. They have more and more and more ships. That's so weird. Hmm. And the funny thing is, they, even though they have war, and actively, technically, both sides should be losing ships. Like, it looks like it's a massive stalemate. Oh, dear. Yeah, both sides are basically gaining ships rather than losing them. Okay, new technology in special machinery. Lighter reciprocating system that will reduce engine weight by 4%. Night. Right. Right, right. Let's advance to the next turn. Still no changes. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of scared that entire campaign as, as like Italy will end up being just this. Unless I will get some random event that might never happen. Which is a bit scary. There we go, some tensions rose between French Empire and German Empire.
Perfect. Right, nothing is happening. Literally nothing is happening, chat. One more month. Come on, I, I need that event. Okay, we got new torpedo propulsion. Fast torpedo, okay. Uh, that's gonna be very interesting. Okay, and now we will be able to use reinforced bulkheads in one month. That's that's really good. Perfect. Oh, I see chat. See, that's the problem. That's why I can't really um, build any tensions with anyone. It's it's because AI is putting too many ships into a single port. And this prevents me from building tensions with anyone because obviously they are not projecting strength into places where they should. So basically... UK having 116 ships yeah see Liverpool port they got twice the fleet that this port can carry uh, Belfast has nothing Dublin has nothing Cork has nothing Portsmouth yeah it's almost full New Haven there we go another overfilled port Yarmouth cool well, Rosens is just slightly overfilled. Scapa flow, there we go. Those extra ships basically should be sent to different ports and that should force AI uh, to send them, let's say, to Valletta uh, to put like at least one torpedo boat or, or something. And that would make them project power to Eastern Mediterranean or Western Mediterranean. Uh, I'm not sure which which port is well, which area is covered by this port, and that should start building tensions with me very slowly, but but it should start build tensions. And right now, this element doesn't exist because obviously the game decided, yeah, let's let's put too many ships into ports. Oh, this is really bad. Okay, new technology in maneuver warfare. Uh, that's that's technology that doesn't work yet, so it, it has absolutely no effect. So anything with uh, work in progress status basically won't work, and those technologies will still eat into finances. Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear! Let's see, we are not clear what's going to be developed in, in a few months. Let's progress to 90, well, to 1895, so five years in of in-game time. Huh. Interesting. I was really hoping that some war will start by 1895, but I, I think I will have to progress all the way to 1900 to see any changes. Yeah, I'm making more and more money. Okay, let's build the shipyard to 18,000 tons. Because at some point I will develop those bigger hulls and, and better warships then I will have to build bigger battleships and, and cruisers and in fact uh, like cruiser design 
the cruiser design is progressing on its own but at a pretty good pace uh destroyer design uh yeah they are working on something hull construction that will do something i i don't know what it does basically big guns hopefully the next research is gonna be about like 13 or 14 inch guns gun layouts uh that's that's actually not doing anything so yeah well we'll see how the future will look like anyway chat i'm gonna take a quick break and i'll be back with you in five minutes All right, all right, all right, chat, I'm back. Let's carry on with our small campaign so far. Yeah, not much is happening. Really nothing is happening. Okay, okay. Is that the end of the war? Huh. Why they are just building tensions now? Yeah, they got no tensions, basically.
Huh. That's interesting. Yeah, it looks like First War has been finished. But unfortunately, the game failed to process that. And it still displays information about ongoing war, even though the war is not going anymore. That's interesting. That's really interesting. You wanna tell me that I can just send my ships onto a patrol? And increase their tension that way. Oh. So if I will send something to English Channel. It will take them six turns. Let's see how that will work. Okay, longitudinal strength of full gear there. New ship design methods allow the construction of longer and stronger hulls. Perfect. And that is in increasing stability. That is nice, that is nice. We're gonna need that later on when we get into some naval warfare. Actual battles, in fact. A stable ship will provide better platform for artillery and obviously then we will be hitting more hmm. Let's see if I can piss off the British a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Again, the guy is spending more than he should. Okay, okay, interesting. There we go, and now we are increasing tension between Italian Empire and British Empire. I'm gonna keep my ships here. Because I want that juicy war. 
Although war with the UK might now be tricky because they have 106 ships. My finances, yeah, like, let's face it, I, I can't really afford much. Uh, but my ships should be well protected. Uh, let me just look at the ship designs. Hmm. Can I change something in spaghetti? I, I believe we can. First of all. Okay, I, I can't really change the displacement. Alright, yeah, displacement. That's one thing I can change, really. So let's design a new ship. And rather than spaghetti, let's do a new design. Yeah. That's gonna be Battleship 3, and there we go. Now, this can displace 16,000 tons. Which means I can fit better intake funnels. Yeah. Still keep it at 21 knots. Okay. Spacious quarters. Triple expansion. Natural boilers. Semi balanced. Okay. Compound armor. Oh, why, why my hat? I, I lost my hat, chat. Okay, compound armor. Uh, let's see. Centerline guns. Perhaps let's. Yeah, since this can display 16,000 tons, I, I'm fairly sure I can handle 12 inch barrels. Yeah, let's push them towards the front. This should make it more or less balanced. Rear tower 2. Let's first put. Okay, I, I still can't fit large case uh, cage mass. Uh, perhaps, yeah, that, that will never fit. Uh, but medium one should easily fit. Okay, uh, and now rear tower. For balance, we can push it here. Okay, and I can supplement that with standard funnel. Yeah, that, that should work. Engine efficiency is getting better. Okay. That's good, that's good. Case made guns. Uh, let's give it four inches. Oh, that can pack a lot of guns. Oops. Uh, there we go. Uh, some underwater torpedoes. Yes, please. Three tubes. Why not? Uh, 16 inch torpedoes. Yeah, I like that. Gun cotton. Uh, standard ratio, standard ratio, heavy shells, uh, just to mock my opponents a little bit more. Oh, I, did I? Yeah, I accidentally deleted one. Uh, there we go. Coincidence rangefinder, why not? Let's make this ship fit with new technologies as much as we can. Regina Margherita, okay, I, I, I partially like this name, uh, let's, let's call it Margherita. Ok, 
okay, okay, okay. Do we want anything else? Some secondary guns? No, not really. Oh yeah, I can change the length of the barrels, do I? Okay. I can increase the barrel by 19%. That's not too bad. I don't really need that range increase from it, uh, but by increasing the max range, you are actually also increasing the accuracy of the gun. So, technically, extending the barrel length will have a double effect, although I need to compensate for a longer reload. So, I might give it enhanced reloading and compensate for the weight loss uh, with uh, uh, main belt, perhaps. Yeah, I can make it thinner. Zephyr, hello, welcome to the stream. I hope you'll have a great time today. Uh, no, I I actually can't spark any wars between me and other nations, and and, and basically my entire fleet uh, fleet is sat at the port, and I can't do anything with it. Well, I, I can't do much with it. I, I, I'm trying to, to get in bad terms with other nations to, to start sinking things. Right. Uh, but that will take time. There we go. Okay. So, this ship will have a massive firepower. The problem is... It, it's gonna be a glass cannon. So, when this thing gets hit... Uh, yeah... It, it, it will go down really quickly. So that's interesting. That's interesting, chat. Uh, let's see if that... That will work for me. Uh, okay, let's... Let's save that design. Now we need to construct those ships. So... Uh, no, I, I, I don't want a torpedo boat. I want to build some of the margaritas. Eh, four of them. Uh, yeah, let's let's build four of them. Perfect. And it will take sixteen months. Oh my goodness me. Ah, because I need armor forging. Hmm. Right, right, I get you, I get you. Right, for now there is nothing I can do about it. There we go, we are still increasing tension with United Kingdom. Oh, the war has finished. Perfect. Probably takes few months for the game to realize that. Okay, so very soon we will get into bad terms with United Kingdom. Uh, although, the problem is... The problem is, chat, I got only 49 ships in my arsenal, while British Empire has 112, and they are currently building 50. <laughs> So yeah, definitely, definitely there's going to be some worse. Oh, this is going to be interesting. I don't really have much to fight with, uh, to be honest. There's only Valletta and Limassol and Gibraltar. And th those three ports can be taken from uh, United Kingdom, basically. That's, that would be a good take, yeah. If, if I can win that war, somehow, uh, then that would be a good idea. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. 
Yeah, this is going to be very, very interesting. Hmm. Okay, I can lose two naval prestige and, and gain four unrest for s telling my public opinion that, yeah, nothing has happened, even though my ship broke down. Uh, okay, I can increase the unrest slightly and tell the public opinion that yeah, my, the crew might need a little bit extra training. Or I can go into bad terms with Austro-Hungary. Yeah, I, I think my budget can handle that. And, and they shouldn't be angry about it. Besides... My relationship with Austro-Hungary is, is pretty much pretty good. The queen will get her revenge, uh, perhaps, perhaps. How's the research going? Okay, I will be able to build bigger light cruisers and heavy cruisers really soon. That's... Well, I, I can already build bigger heavy cruisers, but... I haven't designed any yet. In fact, that might be a good idea to design one. Yeah, because this one... It is actually pretty well designed. Nah, I want something bigger. Right, uh, I need armored cruiser. There we go. 4,500 tons. That's the maximum displacement I can give it. Uh, spacious cram uh, quarters. Okay, uh, triple expansion steam engine. Okay, compound armor, because that's the best I can get at the moment. So, front tower 2. Okay, uh, rear tower 2. Okay, that is fully balanced so far. Uh, funnel. Uh, yeah, definitely I can't fit that. Funnel with boats. Small. Uh, yeah, I, I guess that's the best I can fit. Okay, main guns, centerline guns, I need 8 inches. And that's gonna be standard, well, that's gonna be the biggest size guns I'm gonna ever use on a heavy cruiser, which is 8 inch. Uh, basically, that's my limitation, it's, it's not that the game tells me to. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't see the reason why I should go overboard with uh, the caliber of uh, of the guns. So 8 inch or 7.9, that's what's gonna be used. In fact, yeah, that might be a good idea. Uh, not 8, uh, 7. I can go with 7 inches. What coincidence, range fighter. Heavy shells. Gun cotton. Barbet 1. Perfect. Now, caliber 7.9 inch. Which has positive effect of ac on accuracy. Wait, 7.1. And what if I would go with... 
8 inch. That has still better accuracy, you know. Uh, is there any reason why I should use 7 inch guns? 162 tons. 124. Uh, let me just check it. Hundred and eighty. Nope. Chat. We're gonna use eight inch guns. There is no point in that because increasing caliber of seven inch guns to seven point nine makes it heavier than standard eight inch guns. What kind of mathematics is that? Although, I, I will definitely increase the length. And I will enhance the reloading. Is it? No. I, I will use standard reloading. Okay. That goes over the border. So I need to increase the beam. Still can't fit. There we go. Ooh, there's aft offset. I see. I could eliminate that. No. Border error. Okay, so that's the most I can do with it. Pitch is really high, but there's not much I can do with that, is it? Yeah, there's pretty much nothing I can do about it. Okay. Casemate guns, 4 inches, uh, which is pretty much standard what I use. There we go. And some torpedoes, yes. Okay, and we still got 500 tons that we can use for other toys that I will install on this bad boy. So I want 16 inch torpedoes. And yeah, standard torpedo propulsion. I don't need them to be fast uh, because reducing the range will mean that I think the current range of my torpedoes is like less than a kilometer. So if I will reduce that by 30%, I will literally have to crash into enemy to fire a torpedo, which makes no sense. Right. Uh, I can now increase the speed of that bad boy, or I can make it uh, really heavily armored, but... Is there any points in making this thing armored like a tank? I mean... And, and this is now pretty much the same as my battleship. There we go. Uh, what's the speed of that thing? 20.6 knots. Hey, perfectly fine. Could push it to 21, let's see. And drop some uh, deck armor, which is very heavy. Uh, and 
perhaps. Yeah, I can even reduce belt armor. There we go. Oh, again, I, I lost my hat. I, I keep losing my hat today. I, I don't know. Chat. For some reason, my hat is, is, is disappearing every now and then. I, I don't like it. Someone is stealing my hat. Right, anyway. That looks good to me. Uh, the name would be Palinuro. Yeah, let's let's save this design. I'm happy with it. Okay. And now I need to build some of those because most of my heavy cruisers are pretty old. They were designed like when is that? Uh, 1886 so 10 years yeah those are 10 years old designs uh, that I'm using so let me build six of these bad boys so we definitely need them and they will be ready in 11 months and by then I should be looking at war with Britain, is it? Yeah, pretty much. It will take me about a year. Uh, Jimmy Chain, yes, yes, literally. My avatar was losing a hat for some reason. <coughs> I'm not sure what's going on with it. Okay, chat, we are now ready to begin the next turn. Ooh. Ooh. France is increasing its tension with Austro-Hungarian. Okay. Okay. I'm actually hoping to <coughs> get into war with uh, Great Britain more or less at the same time when Germany will and that should technically put me in an alliance with them which uh, perhaps it's not the most interesting alliance I, I can get into uh, but we should be able to take out UK then split some lands and I definitely want Valletta Gibraltar and Limassol that would be very good gains and if I can worsen my relationship with France that would also help to to get their ports that will be very interesting to do anyway let's push it to the next turn okay my finances are currently in negatives, that's not good, but I'm increasing my GDP, so I should be able to handle extra expenses. Ooh, the game takes surprisingly long to calculate this turn. Oh wow! I'm actually projecting quite a lot of power into English Channel. And, and I just put one battleship and, and one heavy cruiser. Okay, my finances are getting back to normal. Politics, yes, we are building that tension with the uh, UK.
Belljet, thank you very much for joining us today uh, and have a good sleep. See you next time. Okay, special machinery. Hydraulic steering gear. Okay, that... Hmm, that is interesting thing to put on my ships. Anti-flooding one. Yes, that is something I need to research. But funny thing about those researches, chat. Even though I assigned a priority on, on this research, and it was assigned since 1890, I'm currently working on 1894 technology, and it's currently 1895, 96 in fact. So... I'm still two years behind, even though I've been doing everything to the best of my abilities. Okay, 3000 tons light cruiser, anti-flooding one, perfect. So let's free up one of the priorities. Okay, in 8 months I will have special machinery. Okay, so that is between 8 and 29. I, I want it in 8. And, but how does it impact? Okay, but that also cuts 7 months from other technologies. I see. Hmm. Okay. In fact, yeah, three months armor quality, nickel steel armor. Uh, that will definitely be helpful. Torpedo nets. Mm -hmm. Okay, my naval prestige is now at three. I didn't even realize that it grew so much. Oh wow! British Empire has 124 naval prestige. Uh, perhaps it's because they won a war with Germany. And speaking about wars, <laughs> their relationship with everyone is pretty much bad. Mm -hmm. Okay, one month until better armor quality. go. Now let's assign priority to armor forging. Oh, and in four months I will have a white powder. White powder is really good. It is really, really good. Uh, shells. Uh, oh, okay, that will be just CNF. I'm not interested in that, but explosives is definitely helpful. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, that's interesting, that's very interesting. Okay, we are still building tensions. 
politics 65 minus with them. Okay. Oh. I'm losing money. I don't like it. Four months until special machinery. I still don't know what I'm gonna research in engines and boilers. Okay, some destroyers are being researched. I'm not really interested in getting new destroyers at the moment. There we go. CNF ammo. Hmm. What else I can get? Control station will improve gun accuracy. That might be interesting technology to invest, uh, but I'm gonna leave that free priority. Because if I will assign it... Okay, in fact... Yeah, that will just delay special, uh, special machinery by one month, which is not a big deal. Armor forging will still be pretty good, okay. Okay, I'm gonna get heavy cruisers in one month and battleships in three. And the funny thing is that I can pretty much almost instantly refit them. Uh, because I will have a new... Well, I can change the design to match it with current technologies. Calculating this turn takes quite a long time. And now we got white powder. Perfect. So, when we go to new design. Oh, new design? Uh, no, I don't want new design. I need to view one of the old designs. So, Palinuro will be the first one to be reviewed. Uh, we can refit that. And now, first of all, we can fit it with anti flood. And that helps with fighting against any floodings that, that may happen. And that will help this ship to survive that's what I need uh, but that also means I will have to reduce its armor which isn't a problem because this ship is armored like a battleship anyway uh, so perhaps it's, it's even better idea and I can also change it to white powder which is lighter that's good uh, I can change the ratio Perfect. Perfect. And now I can... Uh, is there anything else I can... No. So my balanced. That's still on steam steering. Okay. Yeah, and like... Standard ratio, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Okay, and, and now all I need to do is to... Save the design. Exit the constructor. And now, uh, let's refit. All of them, which will take one month. So basically, they're gonna lose some armor. And they're gonna gain massive firepower from, from that white powder and, and other changes. That that's really funny. I, I, I literally just finished constructing those ships and now I got technologies to even improve them better. The the problem is it's like yeah. Why I couldn't do that while they were building? That would be nice. Now I can edit, uh, no, I, I'm gonna wait two months uh, with editing battleship project. And then I'm gonna upgrade all the battleships of this class. Okay. Uh, how's the political situation? Six, 75%. Okay, not too bad. Next turn. So I will have enough time to fix my ships. Okay, 79. That's good. I can build a shipyard. I really have to remember about that because at some point my ships will catch up with tonnage. Uh, to, to the shipyard and obviously that will be limiting factor okay there we go and that's a hydraulic steering gear which is a good upgrade Okay, I got advanced technology now. Hmm. And France is behind with technology. Oh, that that's a nice estimate. Interesting, interesting. Well, the fact that I didn't have any wars uh, basically put me ahead. So that's gonna be very, very interesting. I don't really have too much crew Yeah, okay. So I'm, I'm gonna release that. Uh, Jimmy Chain, no, I usually stream on Fridays, although tomorrow I will be busy and I had a day off today from work, so uh, basically that was perfect opportunity to move my stream a day ahead, but I probably most of my streams will now happen on Fridays because of my apprenticeship and, and schedules that I have to uh, put, uh, so yeah. Uh, today is, is one of the streams that that happens because I, I can't schedule it for Friday uh, but in most cases for next few months uh, at least my streams will happen on Fridays sometimes on Thursdays if I have to push uh, Friday stream uh, to a different date and sometimes they will happen on Saturdays if I can't make it on any of these days uh, but yeah, definitely one of those three days will be when when I will start the stream. I can't really tell a stable date for that, but yeah. 
and that that's how my schedule looks like right now that's why i haven't posted it anywhere because uh, i pretty much until the moment when i press start stream anything can change right now so uh, so yeah my my streams won't be announced and, and people have to use all those notifications uh, they can join my discord and get notifications from there uh, they can use notifications on uh, on Twitch or uh, on YouTube, uh, and, and that's the best way to to find out that my stream is online. If, if you turn off those notifications, then well, you are running into a risk to, to miss my streams, unfortunately. Well, you can always rewatch them anyway, because after the stream ends, I can post it on on YouTube. And, well, they, they are always being posted on YouTube, so... Yeah. Uh, today's stream will go on until we will begin war with uh, United Kingdom. It's been already over three hours since I started. Uh, sadly, this first episode will be the most boring one, but that's also the point where I'm learning how to do things. Uh, so as you watch, uh, you can also learn yourself how to overcome some difficulties that, that I'm going through. So first difficulty was the fact that uh, Italy was on a good terms with everyone, so I couldn't start any wars. And then I didn't know that I can just send my ships uh, to any sea region and increase the tension with other nations. So right now I am constantly increasing tension with uh, British Empire there we go and I got some new ships yeah pretty much British Empire is hated by everyone <laughs> so next time the war will start it's gonna be British Empire versus like Italy Germany and Austro-Hungary because everyone hates them for some reason <clears throat> So that's going to be interesting. In two months, I will have better voice tubes with whistle. And that will improve gun aiming speed and gun base accuracy. Okay, okay, that's that's good. That's interesting. But again, some of these technologies are, are like for 1890, which, which were supposed to be done a long time ago, and I'm just researching them, so it's... Really, I, I'm not sure if I'm that advanced in terms of technology. Hmm. Right, we are almost at war with our British friends. Uh, let's see, my fleet is now... Okay. Okay. Uh, ship design. Margarita. Was it Margarita? Uh, I can't remember which one was it. Yeah, that was Margarita. Let's view it. And let's update it with new technologies. So, hydraulic steering, definitely. It's gonna be heavier. Anti flood system, definitely. I need that. White powder. Gun cotton, okay, okay. And let's drop some weight. No, that's... There we go. Okay, is there anything else I was supposed to change? Oh, I can also reinforce the bulkheads. The 
that would mean I need to drop the belt even further. Flag of Mexico? No. That is the flag of Italy. Yeah, it, it looks like Italian flag, although... Yeah. <coughs> Apparently they use same colors, so... tower can be okay okay so that's those okay okay anything else that I wanted to change uh, compound armor nickel steel there we go and now I can increase the amount of armor that I'm using So pretty much I can put main belt almost back at the same level as, as it used to be. And I can make conning tower. Oh, I, I can't even increase it anymore. Uh, superstructure. And that would be too heavy. Uh, four belts, no. Main deck, oh, that's... Deck is really heavy to, to actually upgrade. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, and that was refit. And now I can refit those battleships, and hopefully they should be ready. Two months. Perfect. So in two months, those ships will be ready. Okay. Crew training is veterans just because I sent my ship out to the sea. Seriously, if I would knew that. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Right, politics. Let's see. Two months and then we begin a war with United Kingdom. Okay, three months. Voice tubes with whistle. There we go. And that should be automatically updated to my ships. Uh, perfect. I don't really have torpedo boats. I, in fact, it would be probably smart of me to build some. And Centauro is... Oh. Yeah, I, I can't directly build that but what I can do what I can do is I can copy that as a new design rather than Centauro. Yeah, let, let's let's name it Alkion. expansion yeah, definitely uh, coal fuel okay okay is 
there anything else that I would like to change? No, 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 no. Perhaps the line. Oh, I see. There we go. Yeah. So there is a a speed limit that Hull can handle. So if if I go above thirty one point nine knots, the weight that I would have to well increase my engines by in order to make this ship that point one knot faster is no longer increasing in in linear fashion it, it's just skyrockets so if i would like to make this ship go 32 knots ever uh, then i would have to put too much weight into the hull so basically then i would have to remove something from it which makes no sense at the moment so i'm gonna leave it as it is uh, let's save this design and let's see if i can now why I can't build it I can't literally build a ship There, there is some weird stuff when it comes to designs, yeah. Uh, so I, I can actually design a new ship and, and that will probably work. So if I will design torpedo boats and basically there we go. I literally have to redesign same ship. Uh, oh, that's that's the tower I wanted. With standard funnel, okay. Main guns. Yeah, this is ridiculous that I have to basically redesign the same ship twice in order to be able to build it. What's the point of it? Uh, definitely there is... Some improvements. Well, there are some improvements that... Developers can... Take... Uh, can make. Okay, there we go. And uh, what was that drought? Yeah, I think I, I previously reduced the drought. So that the ship will be... Uh, what is that improving? Nothing. Well, it, it's improving something. Apparently, pitch is dropping down.
Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. Hmm. So I can make my destroyers a bit wider. Perhaps 5%. Okay, that that improves the statistics of this ship. Uh, what else I wanted to do? Uh, Sixteen-inch torpedoes. Increased torpedo ammunition. Okay. Uh, Two-inch guns. Yes, please. Uh, heavy shells. Standard ratio. Base views. Fantastic. I think that's it. I can increase the range. Yeah, why not? I, I can actually increase the operational range of, of that thing. And I can now save the design. Exit the constructor. And now I can build that ship. And I need at least 12. Six months. Okay. And so they, they're going to be completed after the war has started. So, so that's that's interesting. Uh, another new design that I could put out would be light cruiser. Oh my goodness me, I haven't done anything with my light cruisers. Uh, I completely forgot that since 1886 nothing has happened with my light cruisers and I got tons of them. Right, let me just view that. Perhaps there's going to be some small changes that I can do and upgrade my current cruisers. Uh, is, yeah, this is unacceptable, chat. This is unacceptable. See, no anti-flot. No way I'm gonna let that out. Reinforced bulkheads and nickel steel armor, definitely. Uh, max AP, no, standard ratio. Standard ratio. White powder, gun cotton. 16-inch uh, torpedoes. Okay. Uh, Enhanced reloading, okay, heavy shells, I like it. Rangefinder, there we go. Now, gun caliber, we got 5.3 inch guns and 4 inch guns. Uh, let's make it minus. 5.7, there we go. Okay. Okay, can I? 22 knots, that should be my, my standard for speed, so... Yeah... I, I think that's the best I can do with it. I can eventually increase... No, I can't even increase the range any further. And I can't change anything when it comes to displacement. I would have to design a brand new ship. Uh, and, and that's what I'm going to do at some point. But those upgrades that I just introduced should make this thing better. <laughs> so let's save the design. Let's exit the constructor. And now I can basically refit all my light cruisers. The problem is that if I will start refitting them right now... Yeah... I wonder how long it will take. Oh, 
Okay, it's just one month. I'll take it. I'll take it. Since the war haven't started yet, and probably it will start next month. Yeah, th that should be a good upgrade to, to my ships. And we are at 94 tension. Oh dear. Okay, so pretty much my ships should now... Be ready. Yep. And in five months, I will have even more ships. That's very good. All right, chat. My fleet is starting to look really, really good. And there we go. Chat, we are at war. So, <laughs> obviously we immediately went into bad terms with French Empire. But my, uh, my opinion with Austro-Hungarian Empire is at plus 48, which means that there's gonna be some interesting wars happening right where do i want to move it uh, that one hold it that one hold it okay both of my ships are now moving to gaeta Then I'm gonna try and attack the Browter. In fact, let me have a look where I got. Uh, Jimmy Chain, yes, uh, that's that's how you win the game. Uh, I can either eliminate other nations completely, or I can win by points uh, by being like most dominant country by 1950, where the game ends. Okay, so... <laughs> so, we got a first ally. Okay. 
let's say it's not the best alliance I could get. Uh, but well, it's the best I can get at the moment. Uh, but yeah, in general, like um, having Germany as my ally against UK uh, seems like a weird idea. I, I'm not sure how it's going to end. Okay. So, chat. The war has begun. And therefore... We will just advance by one turn, just to get the events associated with that war. There we go. Oh my goodness me, please tell me that my ally won't just die. Okay, uh, let me have a look. We got no events, because obviously we are quite far away. Surprisingly, we are not building tensions with, uh, with France, even though... According to politics, yeah, we don't really have a good terms with them right now. Uh, and France has some ships in here. So, I, are we building tensions with them? We are probably building tensions with France. Uh, that means, <laughs> chat, this is going to be a long war. And France has some active ships, so I'm hoping to gain a lot from from that from that war. And their ships are absolute rubbish compared to mine, so I should pretty much decimate their forces in, in no time. Uh, it's only Great Britain that that will be a problem. Uh, because they are currently sending some ships here, and I believe soon we should see some events popping up in the Mediterranean Sea. And when that happens, we will start seeing some... some battles. I might eventually send expeditionary force uh, to the English Channel to, to harass uh, British forces. And they have sub... Yeah, they have actually quite substantial forces here in the region. And that would help German Empire in in the fight with with UK, uh, because I believe German ships will be absolute rubbish, and they are spending more than they should, which is a problem. So yeah, uh, chat. Very soon we will start uh, having some some interesting wars in here. Uh, let's see, my finances should now skyrocket. How does that look? Yeah, we still got high technology budgets. Okay. Hmm. Okay, right. So, chat. Whew. That was a long, long four hours almost since we began our stream. I know it wasn't the most exciting one because we just began everything and as soon as the war began, uh, I... I yeah, I, I feel like it's good time to finish this time. And that's going to be a massive cliffhanger. I, I understand that. Uh, but hopefully uh, next week, unless I will be doing something with with someone else uh, in, in, in regards to streaming some, some online content uh, or multiplayer content, I think I will get back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts once more. Uh, just to get this campaign going 
uh, for for like a few weeks. It will also give me some break from all those uh, train simulator games uh, because yeah, for the past year or, or, or two I've been pretty much only playing train simulator and nothing ship related, which is a shame because uh, yeah, after all I'm supposed to be admiral, not not train driver. Uh, but yeah, eventually I will get back to the train simulators as well. Uh, there are some new releases that that will be coming out uh, obviously recently uh, like that spirit of steam uh, was released I, I haven't really looked at it yet and um, but maybe at some point i will try and and look into that anyway chat thank you very much for joining me today as always uh, if if you liked the content give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so already uh, also, if you don't want to miss my streams, uh, press that bell button if you are watching me on, on YouTube. Uh, if you are on Twitch, I think uh, all it takes is to just follow me and, and Twitch will send you emails every time I go live. Uh, or, or use other notifications as you set them on Twitch. I, I don't know how they work, so don't ask me. <laughs> and finally, uh, don't forget to join my Discord. Uh, the link is in description of the video. Uh, on YouTube or under the player uh, on Twitch. Uh, thanks again and see you next time. Bye-bye.